apologize, I'm late, but I had to do a procedure for the visa and there was a technical problem, so that's why I'm coming. Fine, fine. No, no, it's not fine. <laughs> I, I, I could do nothing about it. <laughs> you got your visa, because that might be a problem if you haven't got your visa. That's why. So it was important to, uh, to get those. So that's the story, though, if the Manchester United manager can no, get on no. flights. Uh, it was a technical problem, <laughs> Simon. Uh, you want to make a story out of it. <laughs> no, it isn't. Uh, so I think everything will be done. Uh, so, go. Um, Manchester United against Leeds is a, a famous rivalry. I wonder what you know about it and how much you're looking forward to facing them twice this week. Uh, it's about the match of the roses. Um, um, yeah, it's definitely a big, big game in this part of England, and it's a big game for us. Um, we know uh, we have Man City, we have Liverpool, but as well for our fans, this game means so much, and um, our players are aware of that and they know what to do. Jesse Marsh left his job at Leeds yesterday. What's your reaction to that, and how does it affect your preparation for these games? Uh, it's, it's, it's always said. Uh, if a manager is a colleague, um, yeah, gets sacked. Um, so in general, I don't believe in it. Uh, that you sack a manager, that you get better results. Most of the times it doesn't work. Um, let managers do their work, let's finish their work, and then make a good f um, evaluation. But yeah, um, obviously uh, the pressure is high uh, with um, decision makers in football clubs. And, and, and they turn. And, but yeah, if you see the facts, if you see the stats, uh, most of the times it doesn't work out well. And how does it change your preparation for the game, considering it's a different management team, they may have different ideas about how to play, you may then face a completely different management team for the following game as well? Uh, definitely, and you don't know. And um, yeah, we have to be aware of that. Uh, so. When uh, Jesse Mars was in the lead, it was clear how they play. Uh, so about uh, so way of play, about system, about style. Um, now, uh, yeah, they uh, it's possible that they change, but it's also possible they don't change. And um, I think we only will find out um, on the pitch tomorrow. And but then we need yeah good anticipation on that. If they change, huh? and if they're not, uh, we know what to do. But if it changes, you know, we need uh, better anticipation, for instance, as we did against Villa. The uh, uh, difference with them was in that time when Emery came in that uh, they had a week or maybe even longer to prepare. And now they have no, not so much time to prepare. So um, uh, we will see, but uh, we need good anticipation on it and be proactive. Can I just ask you what the injury situation with Martial and McTominay in particular is given Casemiro suspended. Yeah, they are not involved tomorrow. And, um, and the same is with um, uh, Anthony Dos Santos, also not available for tomorrow. So we have to sort it out. Um, I realise this has nothing to do with Manchester United, but the big story in England at the moment is around Manchester City and their uh, the situation with the Premier League and their finances. Do, do you have an opinion on that? Does that have any relevance whatsoever to Manchester United, given you've been competing against Manchester City for a period of time that we're talking about? No, I don't have because I'm not here for financial or for regulations. I'm here, I'm a football manager. And so I stick to that and I think others um, has to deal with that. Uh, Casemiro, did you consider appealing his uh, three-match ban at all? Uh, yeah, consider, yeah. But um, uh, so still, it's, for me, it's not the right decision. But I don't think we have a chance uh, in a in a legal process. How, how pleased are you with the, the home form? It seems like Manchester United's uh, Old Trafford has has got that fear factor back now with 13 successive wins side to uh, are coming to Old Trafford again with a bit of trepidation? It you know, uh, was one of our aims this season to get that, to get that back. Uh, so as aim as, um, of as a part of the process to restore Man United to the club uh, who, who, who once 
who we were once. Uh, but but like I say it's a part of it. I think also, um, you know, for instance, home is good. I think also we have away also good results. But in away games we can be even more, show more personality, uh, be more uh, convincement. So so I w um, so that's the, the next step we have to make and uh, to have the same team on the pitch in the personality as we are at home. And but yeah, obviously I'm really happy. With, with the process, what we're showing at home, uh, it's great to have that connection with Hall, uh, uh, Old Trafford. But also, I think we have to be aware when we play away, we have always a lot of fans are following us, uh, and uh, we can do the same away because uh, pitches are same size. Uh, it's 11-11, so uh, nothing changes. So in that fact, we can we can grow. Uh, but uh, so we have still steps to make and. Uh, We're we'll happy with that as well because it's a good challenge. Just, yeah, just one more. Um, how much of a blow is, is Casemiro's absence, and how much does it kind of change your thinking for this game and, and the ones ahead? Yeah. So I'm the manager. Um, I always have to play with the players who are available, and um, yeah, we have a squad. We have many good players in that squad. Uh, also. Uh, who are not always playing start 11, so others get the chance, and I have to do it. And I have to, uh, um, after the game, I can't say uh, uh, Casemiro is not there, uh, Anthony Martial is not there. No, we have to win. And uh, uh, this squad is uh, all players in, uh, Man United capable, so they have to perform tomorrow, and we have to win the games, no matter uh, who's coming on the pitch.